welcome back my goodness it's been a, a, a while since we started the tutorial my wife and I had a coronavirus we were very ill in my household so unfortunately we, we you know we lost momentum man but we're back on it I've been able to get some work in over the weekends on RTD2 and as you can see I have the inner skin taped to the frame it's taped to the frame ready so that I can drill and tap holes into the frame I'm gonna bolt this inner skin directly to the frame um, if you are if you if your frame is not thick enough to drill into and tap holes into um, then you will need to use skin blocks or skin snaps like I showed in the previous video so please go back and watch the previous video but right now we're going to be drilling um, using a decent drill bit you cannot use cheap drill bits or cheap um, taps you need decent decent um, tools for the job you really really do otherwise they're gonna snap and cause you problems so you've got to spend some money get a decent tap um, and decent uh, drill bits so we are using 2.5 drill bit and a 3 mil tap and yeah uh, we're gonna carry on because we're gonna secure the inner skins um, I'm gonna explain to you why it's not fully painted as well so welcome back this is R2D2 <laughs> Yeah, could yeah. I be sick without remedy? Yeah, yeah. Okay, as we can see, the inner skins are now secured to the frame. Uh, they have been uh, drilled and tapped directly to the frame. I have not used any skin blocks or skin snaps. I've gone straight to it. And as you can see, there is plenty of room for the door to open and shut. Uh, you will notice it's not exactly straight. That was something I will deal with. It's gonna have to come off at some point. So, you know, I'm not worried about that right now. Um, and these are the most important part. These panels need to be painted. These are doors, okay? Most people take the doors off. They paint them separately and leave the inner skins um, fresh aluminium. And then you see the lip, you know, and it is a good look. I did it on my last droid, but this droid, I will not have any doors opening. So it does not make any difference at all. All right, simple as that yeah so we're ready we're ready to prepare the outer skins to stick they will hide all the screws and all the the bolts that are holding these skins on um so yeah let's get let's get ready to to secure okay with the inner skin secured to the frame we're ready to uh prepare the outer skins and we are using vhb tape rp25 uh, this is the tape of choice. I mean, lots of lots of builders use this tape. It's highly recommended. I've I've done at least at least three sets of skins um, using this tape, uh, and I and I say that I have tried others, but this definitely is the best one. Um, so this I I bought twelve mil. Uh, twelve mil is thicker than you need. You'll only get that on a couple of parts, um, but you then uh, cut it and you'll see where and then position it. Uh, so this this stuff is great. So we basically are going to cover as much of the inner skin as we can We don't want any any bits uh, lifting. So you need a good pair of scissors get a sharp pair of scissors and Yeah, start putting that tape down on the skins Could I be lying in a cemetery? Yeah Could I be sick without remedy? Yeah, yeah Okay, so we have the um, the front outer skin picked up ready to go and it is time to position it um, so we, we, we keep the backing on the tape just just to put it in position just to give ourselves some visual markers uh, and you know just so we're ready when we do tape it we don't want to go wrong now if you look down here this is the octopon port, octagon port hole that is probably one of the one of the key markers because it's flush there's no lip. Everywhere else you'll see there is a lip and you've got to kind of frame it. So yeah, this part is not easy. I'm not going to lie to you. You need to get it right. It's not something you can peel off and, you know, because you're going to bend your skin. You're going to damage your skins. So you do want to get this right. So I've done it a few times. So I'm feeling confident. I'm taking off the backing tape and I'm going to, I'm going to stick them on. I basically take all the backing tape off. Everything comes off. Um, you can peel off a corner and and you know and have it ready to come off and and start on one side uh however it can get tricky i would say to you you know what just get your markers right practice a few times with the backing on the tape so it's not sticky of lining it up getting it right and get some visual markers so you're confident that yeah when you stick it on it's you know you're going to be okay all right so yeah let's do this
All right, we're ready to go. We're ready. This is the moment of truth. This is the scary part of putting skins on. This is the part you don't want to get wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to put you off, you know what I mean? But yeah, you need to get this right, okay? Um, and it's very unlikely you're going to get it perfect. And it doesn't need to be perfect. You will see later. But do try your best, you know what I mean? So I'm starting off on the right-hand side of the skins where I've got the octagon port. And the octagon port is, as I said, flush um, and... It, 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 I had to explain that. It basically, there's no, there's no, um, there's no, not one hole is bigger than the other. They're both exactly the same size. So when they line up, they need to line up right. I start there and then work, and then smooth the skin out up to the top, and then work my way around. All right. Hopefully, you can see the octagon port and see what I mean. If you look at the, um, the hole above it, for instance, you will see that the inner skin, the hole is smaller, so therefore there's a lip, and that would be for your doors. All right, so now I work my way around. Um, my left hand will be holding the skin away from the, the outer skin, away from the inner skin, because I don't want it to stick prematurely and be in the wrong position, you know what I mean? So I'm smoothing it around. Um, and it's, you know, it's as simple as that. We're trying to make this into as if it's really complicated. It's not, it's simple, but because it's um, a high tack um, adhesive, you need to be careful you don't stick the wrong part in the wrong place. You want it to be flush. You want it to be smooth. Um, <clears throat> and that's okay. I mean, you might, some of you builders are looking at it thinking, that's a terrible job. That's not lined up at all. But do you know what? When I finish, it's going to look great. <laughs> so don't worry. The coin slot, see here as well? The coin slots um, also, you know, that's a good marker as well. Um, so yeah, this is cool. I'm happy with it. Um, when I put the inner parts of the um, skins into the doors, the frames on the doors, that will you know hide any bits that are not quite straight or you know what I mean, are perpendicular. So this will work out perfectly. All right. So this is the outer skin fitted to the inner skin. Voila. Okay. So time for the um, the rear skin, the rear outer skin to be fitted. Same process. Tape it up. Um, peel off the tape and we're gonna stick in position. If you don't have a back door, it's not really a problem. It would be one piece. Uh, I have a back door, a rear door, so I need to make sure there's room for the door to move freely, that it doesn't get caught, doesn't snag on anything, okay? That's probably the main, the most important part of, of putting on the rear skin. So yeah, tape off, skin on, set it go. Okay, so here, I did not put enough tape on. I didn't go right to the edge. And because of that, that part is sticking out. I will need to come back to that and stick it um, maybe with some JB Road later. Okay, so preparing the, um, the door frames, the panels to go on. I'm just showing you here. This is how I cut the VHB tape to get the thin part. So you'll get like three layers out of um, one piece of 12 mil uh, to, yeah, to cover these door frames, okay? So I'm gonna speed it up, let you watch this. I don't wanna bore you to death, just wanna give you some tips and ideas. So tape up all the um, extra panels and frames, peel off the back in and position them, pattern them down. Use clamps, if you've got clamps, uh, you should have clamps, then use your clamps, all right? So I've done the whole um, of the skins, they're all done. I didn't wanna bore you with that, it's, you know, it's all the same. You do one, you can do all of them. Um, and I'm double checking my back door. How are we going to do the back door? How are we going to skin the back door? Now, you can only um, drill and tap where the screws will be hidden. All right? And I'm not comfortable drilling um, and trying to get the position because the positioning is there's not much tolerance in this. It has to be right. Okay, So I'm using a skin block, which is a 3D printed skin block, and I'm connecting it, just drilled and tapped it to connect it um, to the center part of the door frame. I then drilled through the inner skin and tapped it and screwed it on as you can see there. So that is done, that is in position. Um, so there you go again, that's the, that's the skin block um, connected to the frame for the back door. The inner skin connects to that and yeah, then I'm able to put the um, outer skin parts on top of it and then job done, finished, complete, ready. So here we go, this is uh, R2D2 skinned. Little little things I need to do to it just to finish it off. And this is gonna be weathered. So yeah, stay tuned. Nah. 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 Could have been lying in a semi 
tree. Yeah. Put up a sick without remedy. Yeah, yeah. 